Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. In this video, you are going to learn how to multiply fractions, and specifically a fraction multiplied by a fraction. And as you can see, there are four problems on your screen. So we're going to go through these four problems together. I would highly suggest you write these out with me, but if you just want to watch, that's fine too. So let's hop right in to number one. So number one here, we have two-fifths times one-third. I'm going to rewrite the problem below here. So whenever we multiply fractions, the only rule really is we multiply straight across. So numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. So two times one is two. Five times three is 15. So there you have it, 2 fifteenths. Now you always check to see if your answer can be simplified. Are there any common factors other than one to break these, this fraction down by? Now the only common factor between 2 and 15 is 1, so this answer is simplified. We are done 2 fifteenths. So again, multiply straight across and then check to see if your answer can be simplified. So number two, we have three-fourths times two-sevenths. Three times two is six. Four times seven is twenty-eight. So we get six twenty-eighths. Now both these numbers have a common factor other than one that we can break down or simplify this fraction. The greatest common factor between the two is two. So six divided by two is three. 28 divided by two is 14. So our simplified answer is three fourteenths. All right, number three, two thirds times two thirds. Again, straight across, numerator by numerator is four. And then denominator by denominator, three times three is nine. So we have four ninths, and the only common factor between four and nine is one, which means we are done. We cannot break this fraction down anymore. It cannot be simplified, so we're done, four ninths. Number four, we have five sixths times two thirds. Straight across, 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 3 is 18. So any common factors other than 1? Yes, the greatest common factor between 10 and 18. We can divide both these fractions by 2 to get our, our final simplified fraction. 10 divided by 2 is 5, 18 divided by 2 is 9, so 5 ninths. So just to recap here, in order to multiply fractions correctly, you need to multiply your numerator by numerator straight across the top and denominator by denominator straight across the bottom. Once you have that done, see if your answer can be simplified or broken down. And there you have it. You can multiply fractions by a fraction. Thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, peace.